Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you another Lego mock. This one is a strange kind of Stranger Things mock, no pun intended, but this one is the Eleven Closes the Gate scene from the end of Season 2. The reason I say this thing is kind of strange is because it is strange. When you look at it, it looks like a gigantic slab of Lego parts, and it's very tall, like very, very tall. I'm filming outside because it won't even fit inside my softbox. However, this is probably one of the best looking or most aesthetically pleasing mocks I've done from Stranger Things things just because it's so satisfying to look at or maybe that's just me and I'm gonna say that's just because there's a lot of detail in this build it may not be the most complex with the layout but there is a lot and I mean a lot of greebling when you look at the surface of this thing you can see a lot of plates tiles cheese wedges wedge plates regular plates stuff like that a bunch of things are put together to make a gigantic slab the colors are pretty accurate too one of the coolest things about this shot is the colors itself by the way this is probably one of the most beautiful shots from the entire show the CG the practical effects everything here is beautiful I love the gigantic gate but I think black was a good representation of the dark rock that was kind of exposed there which was actually pretty hard to build one of the bad things about my lights is that they're incredibly dim where I build so I could barely see what I was doing when I was making the greebling but I'm pretty happy with it and of course to go in between that black greebling is even more greebling to make the upside down entrance this is that goofy stuff that has that orange glowy tint to it this one's a little bit more complex than the black greebling itself just because there's some bricks actually mixed in with the plates. It's pretty complex and very messy, but I think it gets the job across very well. I love the orange color. It's a very stark contrast to the black around it. Great color choice here by the actual shot, not me. But the final thing to complete this mock was, of course, including Emo 11 and Hopper. Now, the elevator portion itself, which is where Hopper and L are standing, that's pretty normal. I like the build for this. It's pretty simplistic. Nothing too much here, but the way it's suspended is incredibly weird. It's held up with these gigantic bendy tubes that kind of bend over this weird Technic assembly and they're connected at the top and it's a very messy system I tried to actually just connect the tubes on the Technic assembly but they were too long so it went almost all the way to the ground so I had to fix that there and it just it's a mess but I like the way it looks but once you put that in there's really nothing else to this gigantic slab of Lego parts this thing is very tall very big it's not too complex but also complex at the same time it's a weird mock strange to quote myself from the beginning of this video but if you enjoyed this mock i will be sure to link my entire stranger bricks playlist down below it's my ongoing series where i'm recreating all the scenes from stranger things that i absolutely love so if you want to see all 13 prior mocks to this one i will leave them linked down below in case you missed any but as always thank you so much for watching and most importantly take care